Hi everybody, it's Tony with Show IP Interface Brief and today I want to go over how I do my CCIE labs as I'm using the INE workbook at home. Um, a little backstory: a couple years ago a friend of mine gave me a flash drive when we were talking about uh, getting into CCIE studies and he said here is uh, VM, it has all the labs on it uh, to prepare you some INE stuff and I didn't know exactly what he was talking about I made a copy of it, I stored it away and I didn't use it since. Uh, this past summer I went to an INE boot camp and uh, just coincidentally I found myself with some free time in a hotel room so I decided to start cleaning up my desktop and I found a folder with the contents of that flash drive and inside of it was a VM so I went ahead and fired it up in VMware Workstation and ran it locally on uh, my Surface Pro Surface Pro 4 uh, and it worked great and so once I got home, actually I, I might have VPNed home at the time and went ahead and stood it up on my ESXi. So I'm home now. It is running on my small uh, repurposed PC running an ESXi server. And here's the VM here. It's the IOU uh, version 22. Um, it's pretty lightweight. It's got four gigs of RAM dedicated to it, two virtual um, CPUs. Uh, it's running uh, pretty lean right now. It's pretty lightweight. Here's its IP address. It gets from uh, DHCP. I think I have that as a uh, static mapping now on my DHCP. Anyhow, once it boots up, the console is here. Okay, it says welcome to IOU web interface. Uh, use HTTP and it'll take you right to it. <clears throat> so I go ahead and I norm run my normal web browsing in Chrome. Um, uh, for my CCIE studies, I'm running them in Edge just to keep the browser separate. Uh, I'll bounce back and forth if I'm doing research or chat with anybody. Um, so this is the uh, IOU uh, web interface. When you get logged in, uh, let me jump right to it. The laboratory is at the top. I think this is the root folder. So it came with uh, version 4 troubleshoot, Cisco 360 route switch, config labs, troubleshoot labs, INE. Uh, My labs is where you can create custom labs and the Narvik Foundation. So uh, being an INE fan, and I had just completed at the time or started working with at the time an INE boot camp, uh, I jumped right in with what was familiar with me. Um, so this is what you're presented with. Um, here's the lab itself, uh, the lab environment, the topology. <clears throat> so once you click on it, it jumps you through a couple of images. Uh, these are some of the topology images, but here's the uh, meat and potatoes, so to speak. Here's your routers, and they're all connected to a common switch. So there's no switching um, labs uh, in this environment. Uh, they are just the routers. Uh, but a couple of things to point out. Something that I really like about this environment is uh, everything is web-based driven. So I have my 10 routers and a switch here. Uh, when they're green, they are all on. Uh, if I want to stop them, I just go ahead and stop them. I click the red power button over there on the right side. So all devices are stopped. Now they are all red, so they're off. And if I just want to boot them up, I click the little play button and it'll go ahead and boot. It takes a couple of seconds and then they're all booted. Um, so it's really lightweight. Uh, it works really well. Um, so how to console into these things? Uh, there is a great feature built right in here into the interface. Uh, allows you to open up, uh, opens up a new um, tab and allows you to shell right into it. Okay, so here I'm running a 15 code, a 15.4.1t. All right, um, I'm not a fan of secure CRT myself. I know a lot of people will probably think that's blasphemous. Um, uh, so I just run multi-tab putty. I went ahead and created a folder with some predefined um, uh, shortcuts. Uh, each of these will tell net to uh, a different port on that box. So I'll just go through and double click them and it'll console over to most of them. It makes that annoying bell sound when I do. I'm sure I could turn that off, but I've got used to it by now. Okay, so here are all of the tabs. Okay, and uh, normally we've got to hit a carriage return a couple of times. I think router one we run the console on. So router one is not giving me a console because we ran it in the new uh, tab window. So I'll bounce back over here, and this little uh, circular arrow will reset the console for that guy. And if I get back to my putty, there we are. Now it's back. So if I wanted to send a bunch of commands, I can use this. Uh, Multi-tab putty, I can select certain routers. So I want to select all, do a couple carriage returns just to clear the screens. And it'll send it all. 
All right, so that's how I get into uh, the environment. Now for the labs, uh, the lab material. I have the workbook here. For example, I'm starting this lab tonight. Um, so what I'll do is um, I have a Surface Pro 4 so I can zoom in and out on the screen. I, I, you guys can't tell from the video, but I do uh, pinch the screen and, and, and scroll it up and down a lot. So what I'll do is I'll leave it right here where the configuration is off the screen and it just leaves me with the tasks that I need to do. Just a way so I can sort of test myself. Uh, and this actual, this feature, maximum AS limit, it's not something I'm familiar with. So I'll go ahead and take this uh, and I'll go over to Cisco.com and start looking it up. Then I'll come back, read the tasks again, and then jump into the labs uh, and start configuring. Uh, I do also have the images of the INE stuff. Uh, I have them here uh, for the different topologies. So I just keep the one up that I'm looking at, keep it as, uh, as much in the frame as I can. <clears throat> if I want to go ahead and double check myself after I'm done a lab or if I'm not sure what they're asking me um, after I've researched it on Cisco's uh, help docs, um, I'll scroll down here and take a look to go ahead and make sure I'm doing things right like they expected um, or to see if I came up with um, a different solution. After I've made some configurations here, if I want to go ahead and reboot or uh, restart the routers. I generally don't do a reload here. Uh, it takes a little longer, so I'll jump over to the control panel. I'll turn them all off. It takes, uh, what, about two seconds? And then I'll go ahead and boot them all back up, which takes about another maybe five seconds. Uh, pretty quick. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I like this environment. I've used Viral before in the past when um, viral, viral about two years ago uh, was kind of an early product. Um, we had a bunch of limitations. I was using it in a lab environment uh, with scalability um, and features and, uh, and needing to have it always connected to the internet and update it and license it and yada, 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 and it became so much. I do keep a hefty library of GNS3 files um, where I do my custom labs. Um, uh, that's really where you gain the most hands-on, I think, is really by getting in the weeds uh, that way. Um, and for the CCIE labs, I'm running this, uh, and it's been pretty great. Um, I don't advocate um, stealing anybody's work. A lot of these people put a lot of time and effort into these um, products and, and boot camps and things. And I will tell you, I've already paid INE my $4,000 for a boot camp, and I've already paid Narbic another $4,000. So um, I'll keep using this environment as long as I keep paying the bill. Um, this product was started by the guy who started the UNET Labs. And UNET Labs is what EVENG came from. So I just pulled up the page here, um, and there's a little reference if you wanted to see it, routereflector.com slash UNET Lab. Um, kind of talks about how he started writing this uh, IOU web, and that's just what we're running up here, IOU web. Okay, so that just tries to give a little bit of insight on, um, on how I study, how my lab is set up, how I change between windows, um, I don't stream my labs, um, uh, but uh, maybe I will one day. Yeah, so here's how I go through a couple of things. Sometimes I keep some reference materials up here, uh, different books and things. Okay, if you guys have any comments or questions, uh, you can uh, leave them below. Um, I will not be sharing out this VM um, because I don't want to get anyone upset with me. Um, but it has been helpful for myself. So um, if you can find it on your own, great. If you need any help with it, I'm happy to help. Um, and uh, enjoy your studies.